This is the Zinger 21C hypercar. Now if you're like me, you're probably thinking, who cares about another expensive hypercar only a few people can afford? Well, Zinger's mission is not just to make and sell hypercars. They want to change the way cars are designed and built through the freedom of 3D printing. As you can imagine, a hypercar with a price tag of $2 million will be powerful and fast. It will have two electric motors on the front wheels and a twin turbo V8 engine powering the rear wheels with a total combined 1250 horsepower. The company claims it can do 0 to 62 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds with a top speed of 236 miles per hour. But power and speed is not what makes this hypercar special. It's the fact that a lot of its parts were 3D printed using intelligent software. Each component is computationally engineered and optimized for weight, efficiency and performance, which means no more material is used than what is actually needed to meet Zinger's performance targets, resulting in parts that look almost organic in structure. Depending on the application, some parts might be hollow, some could feature a three-dimensional internal structure, while others could be composed with multiple materials. As a result, weight is down and strength is up compared to traditionally tooled parts. You see, the software that designs the printed components only puts material where it is needed, creating mesmerizing organic shapes that flow like tendons and muscles. It can be hard to comprehend what that actually means or looks like until you see the bare chassis. Various sections, especially high load areas, were 3D printed. Everything from suspension wishbones, windscreen surround and dashboard are all printed from aluminium and titanium alloys. Even the exhaust muffler was designed by software to act not only as a silencer, but as an integral part of the rear crash structure. From the start, you've seen I've been carrying this in my hand. We've computationally designed and printed ultralight wishbone suspension uh, arms and uprights using our own proprietary alloys. Uh, they look biologic not because we were trying to create something that looks biologic, but because when using machine intelligence, going through all of the load cases that are looped in, the durability, thermal, crash, all of the stress, fatigue, and other load cases, which we use high-performance computing to design, uh, the, the, this is a front upper control arm, the machine is only taking material, materials we've designed, and putting it where it's needed. That's the secret of high efficiency manufacturing. Design materials and then put those materials only where the load cases need them and do it in all three dimensions by printing the structure. What that allows you to do is have a much lighter, much more efficient, much stronger uh, structure that meets all of your uh, load cases. And because nature itself is always competing for material and energy, you see structures on this vehicle that look biologic, not because we were trying to make them look that way, but because material, when it goes there to, to different places where it's needed, gener is generating those kind of structures. Zinger's ultimate vision is creating software in which you input your requirements. A computer then performs all engineering calculations and then 3D prints the components you need. But this all comes back to, who cares, it's still a $2 million hypercar that only a few can afford. Which is true, but like with all new technology, this will eventually filter down into the cars you drive, making them stronger, lighter, faster and cheaper. It just may take some time. I'm sure if it wasn't for Tesla pushing the electric car industry, we wouldn't have such a large range of electric cars to choose from today. All it takes is one company to push everyone else into doing better. Just like Apple with smartphones. <laughs>